I actually bought a camera as a hobby, started shooting senior pictures and newborn sessions for family and friends. I said, if people like what I'm doing and they keep coming back, I'll do more. And I just kept learning as much as I could and challenging myself. So I was actually working as a labor and delivery nurse and I actually thought I would retire in that position but um, I love the freedom and flexibility that I have as a photographer and being my own boss. I'd already been on a photographer on the side for eight years at that point, but I was having some health issues and I decided to just go for it. I think it's really important to set up a business plan, sit down and crunch some numbers. I wrote down everything I needed to pay for monthly, and then I figured out how many sessions of each type I would need to do in a week or in a month to be able to pay for my expenses. You also need to market yourself. You need to have a legit website, social media, put your business on Google Maps, get people to rate you on Google. Like I sent out an email after each session with a link asking people to make a review. You gotta make it easy for them. You gotta get yourself out there as many ways as you can. Zenfolio has been a huge part of my business. It's how I set up my first website. I was able to create customer galleries to share with clients. And then I started using the feature for print sales. And that's been a great way to make extra money without having to do too much work, to be honest, because you just click approve on the order and it's like, sweet, I got a sale. Um, and then with a the new platform, I've been able to much more easily update it. It's so user friendly. You don't need to know any code or anything like that, no computer programming skills. It's really colorful and I'm able to easily tweak the pages and move the blocks around and make it my own and I love that. Last year I used the book me feature for my Christmas minis and I just love that they could book a date and a time and make the payment right from the front of my website. It was really cool. Customer service is huge. People want you to be prompt in answering their emails. Answering emails alone can take up an entire morning for me when I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of all the editing I need to do, but it's like, I gotta get back to my customers because they're waiting on me and they wanna know that I'm legit a business. Um, people also need coaching. They need to know how you work and what to expect, how to dress, where to go for the best locations, what the best lighting is. So they look to us as the expert to guide them through that process. I think doing free modeling sessions and shoot what your heart is into. Then you'll have the images that you'll need and you'll be able to share them because people need to see what it is that you can do and that's what they're going to book you for. If, if they don't see it, they're not going to ask about it. So getting what you want to shoot out there and doing some giveaways, um, give away free mini sessions. People love freebies and it helps get your name out there. You definitely have to be motivated to be your own boss and to stay on task because you kind of always feel like you have work to do. But I'm also learning that you have to find balance so you don't overwork yourself and get burned out. You need to set aside time for your family and your friends and for things that you enjoy. And that's what I'm, I've recently been figuring out. I need to like stop answering client emails after a certain time of day or night. I need to shut off my phone, you know, and just do stuff with my family for a Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. And I need to also shoot for myself. I need to do things that inspire me to keep being creative and just keep learning, taking new courses, challenging yourself in new ways because we're creative minds. And so when we get in the humdrum of all the stuff like the book work and the emails, sometimes your creativity plummets and I find I can check these other things off my to-do list later, but if I, I'm going to focus on something right now that makes me feel good so that I'm inspired to keep going and do more throughout the day.